All right, fam. We are in a 72 tier 72 race win. Physical damage suppressor. That's kind of a problem. Bleed damage, bleed resist, and barrier breaker. So the only thing that's really a problem is a suppressor. But let's see what we can do here. I only have weak elixirs. I should have maybe crafted some better elixirs here. Just in case, let's do the magic resist. Slay all enemies in the enroaching thickets. Okay. You basically have to CC these mobs before they hit you. If they hit you too many times, you're dead. If you get hit by two things at the same time, you're dead. If you shadow stop and end at the wrong time, and you get hit, you're dead. I don't have my trap reset at all. Some pressure mobs, dude. Be very careful with how I take care of these. Just take it slow. Just keep dropping traps on them. Trap reset. Poison view reset. Peace. Rest in pieces. Alright. We are on to the second part of the dungeon. There sh should be a third tier after this. Oh my god, those explosions are crazy. Give me a break. Using poison imbuement has really changed my life with the rogue and the high tier dungeons. Adding it to the reset build. Very, very, very good overall choice. There is a way to run this build without death trap resets, but um, I do like the death trap resets because I'm tanky. Like you have to be tanky enough to survive it. Though is a thing. All right, there's three elites I need to kill. I have to stay far away. 
What helps me survive is CCing targets. Just knock him down. I can knock him down into resets, into days when they stand up. Not usually okay. Together, down. Got another trap reset. That trap. Poison B reset. Dude, they are doing a lot of damage. I think I'm getting hit from far by something that hurts. So I'm gonna step outside of this. Because then I'll miss my resets. Oh, it was a corpse bow. Dude, these corpse bows are so rough. You cannot leave these things alive. And this one has an enormous shield on it. Holy oh, fuck. Think about having like, monsters in barrier or anything in a barrier. You can't apply vulnerability. Which means 360% of my damage is out the window. I couldn't heal. Like I got hit by something and I literally just couldn't heal. I don't know what that was. Okay, it's first death. There's three wildlife left. That's uh... okay. Second death. This is kind of rough. I don't know how how I was able to survive. Suppression mob that I'm dying. First hit the freaking I mean they are 126, but still dude, holy fuck. I can kill most of anything here, but literally if I let my guard down. Teleporting mob. Yeah, I'm gonna stop me from using my reset. If I can group these with death trap, it should be okay. Okay, death trap, poison trap resets. Okay, that's one lead down. Two left. First. I'm out of here. I want like a defensive or an attack shrine, not a gold shrine. That's it feels so bad. Okay. There we go. Got another reset. Poison trap. Oh, 
Where are you going? He just went into suppression mobs. Bro, he just walked into suppression mobs. Randomly. He's running from me. I'm being trolled. I just got trolled. Like, actually fucking trolled. He was one shot. And he just ran away to suppression mobs. I missed my reset. I missed my damage. And I died. Please don't move, dude. He moves and he's like a or something. What? That wasn't the last part of the dungeon? This is a three part dungeon? No. Fire ninjutsu at me. Dude, these corpse blows are gonna get very annoying. I can't stop dodging. The CC bar is broken already? Holy shit, dude, these resets are crazy. Resets with the days. I really wanna pull him too. These corpse blows and get rid of these. But it's going to be kind of hard, honestly, because all the corpse blows have barrier. So I just have to keep moving, bro. That's crazy. I almost got one shot. The CC bar is broken twice. Give me a reset, give me a reset. Thank you. It was rough. That was like one of my first 70 plus dungeons, you guys. Bear with me. But I promise you, 80 plus is coming. I promise you. Let me min max. Let me get there. It is coming, you guys. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Peace and love, fam.